So now in this video, we're going to look at uh, this circuit here. As you can see, we got LEDs that are alternating, they're flashing. That's because we made an A-stable timing circuit where the output just keeps going high and low as long as we have uh, power provide. And the uh, green line there, that's actually the capacitor charging and uh, discharging. So you can see when the capacitor charges to a high enough value, then the output goes low. And you can see that when the capacitor discharges to a low enough value, then the output goes high right there. So the output's going the opposite direction of what the capacitor is doing when it comes to uh, voltage changes. Uh, but that middle ground region, the output stays in the same state it was. The capacitor has to get to one range or the other. And that is actually the hysteresis of the uh, Schmidt trigger part of the not gate or inverter circuitry. And now we'll come to the schematic. So I actually drew this up a long time ago for a, a different video. I used uh, the number four inverter right there, or not gate, uh, but we're using number three in this video because we used that in the last video and I kept the most of the wiring the same. So in any case, we have uh, the output there with a resistor and there you can see how it can charge a capacitor when the output is high. And as we saw when the capacitor voltage got high enough, then the output went right to low. So ground on both sides, the capacitor will discharge like that until it drops to that lower voltage threshold that we saw, at which point the output goes high. So with the uh, inverter here, with the Schmidt trigger, setting that high and low uh, threshold voltages, uh, we got that oscillation. It just keeps going back and forth as long as you got power applied. Now, since we're using a high-speed CMOS version of uh, the 7414, which I used in a lot of videos, so we're not going to do a, a lot of detail about it in this video. But uh, the high-speed CMOS versions, they can usually uh, power LEDs just fine, up to 25 milliamps of uh, current. Now, we could uh, slow things down by using a higher value uh, resistor capacitors, or uh, we can make things go faster with lower values. You can adjust the uh, speed there, but I like the speed in this video. so. Uh, pretty much everything else we could cover, we covered in other videos. Um, again, with the unused inputs, uh, give it a solid voltage. Since I have a bunch of these yellow jumpers, I'm just uh, using yellow for positive for the uh, inputs there. The outputs can stay floating. But you should be able to see how the rest of this is wired. So I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching.